also tuning in from Bus Phone. Let's go. Bowser is very cool. Oh, trying to get sponsored by Creepy Oh, that's it. And of course, Burst, newly sponsored by Apple Esports. It is true. It's true. He won the voting thing, right? Yeah. Let's go, Burst. For donating part of a prize pop over this bracket. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I know there's also going to be a section where we uh, advertise their merch. Check out Apple Esports merch. It is cool. It's a nice blue color. Hopefully, yes, perfect. Thank you, streamrunner. The production. <laughs> Right? Immediate ground from Budget going in, but he's gonna get stopped by Ryan DCB's uh, <laughs> Patui, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, a lot of experience teaming with Ryan DCB. DCB. It's very fun. Uh, he is not scared to hit you. So, do be careful, Budget. <laughs> Shielding another uh, Patui. But I think the sure, like, craziness factor of this team is probably what got it so far. Because, like, what even are they fighting against right now? <laughs> We're getting probably a similar game plan from uh, Train Burst here, where the Samus kind of holds stage for the, uh, the Yoshi to go in, same way that Falcon did in the previous set. Possibly a better effect, but that uh, Patui is actually going to counter Yoshi there. Uh, it's really, really good at catching characters that mostly have, like, non-disjointed hitboxes. Yeah, and uh, Char Char cross stage from Train. Saw that last time with RJ, now Train's killing his teammates with Char Char. Yeah, Samus has got to be more careful, man. He's going to hit another Char Char on his teammate already in the first uh, minute of the game. And I'm smashing the A little bit of floods coming up from blue here, but... But it got an air dodge read, but wasn't able to make any follows off of it. Yeah. Uh, Burst gonna get a nice little shield into Nera to shield on budget there. <laughs> Side B, barely not gonna kill Crane. And, uh, budget off to go for the edge guard. Patui is such a good move. It's incredible, especially in doubles. And the back air across stage, gonna take the stock on the train. Right, he's still at three stocks. Oh, oh, the, the unfortunate fast. The final active frame of Plants back there is very, very, very bad. I don't remember what the exact number is, but it took too long for him to jump after that, so that was an SD for my DCD. But they all have a stock. Like, Burst is on his yeah. last stock already. Green Team's kind of going off. Like, but, we like, were, we, like, we're kind of surprised, you know, they beat Shiny Black Twins, but, like, both these players are very experienced, very good players. Yeah, they're double spoons, honestly. They and are both of them do better in doubles than singles. Yeah, they're in uh, one of the doubles regions. Yeah, Montero. absolutely. Durham cracked at doubles. Yeah, Durham and ABB. Absolutely. And apparently, maybe also London, because we're in winter semis right now with a London duo. Uh, some of the best players in Ontario as well. Yeah, that too. And Ryan, you're gonna try to get off ledge with Patui, but gets killed by that forward air from burst. And uh, a bunch of eating the back air. It's actually somewhat of a lead for the blue team at this point, but it's very even. Yeah. Uh, Bowser just being a massive egg after getting eaten by Yoshi. Yeah, Very uh, fun detail. Bowser being Bowser living all the way to 170. He doesn't get punished yeah. for that. Random Extremely Bucky. Extremely sus up here at the top of the screen. That wouldn't have been the kill for connected. Not just yet. Probably tried to land on the platform, but Train did have that DI advantage being at lower percent. Ooh, nice back air coming out from a Ryan DCB. I said the line, and it followed up into budget fair, getting them into a bad ledge trap situation. <laughs> Ryan tried to hit his own teammate there with that down B, but <laughs> likely budget missed it. Like I said, Ryan does not care about you. He will hit you. <laughs> He's just doing his yeah, thing. Sure. Very nice uh, yeah. late Patui to fair. And the up there, gonna find the stock. First, gonna take that stock from Train, but Train out 150 could die to any hit from either of these characters, really. Especially Bowser and uh, Plant, with both have a lot of kill power. Yeah. And Budget still living all the way up to 200%. Oh, on okay, by the untakeable fair. Yeah. So we have last stocks all around here. Uh, is a simple Gimp gonna take Ryan DCB out, or are they gonna close this out with the percent lead? This is Matui in the back air, but still have a percent lead on the side of the red team, or green team. Green team, yeah. I'm just gonna get two 1v1s going on here, but a little bit of a jumble moment. Yeah. Another giant egg. And Train hasn't been hit since that stock got taken. Yeah, since we mentioned that his percent was at 140, he just hasn't gained any. He's done a great job of keeping them out. Uh, not getting punished for any of these upbees out of the shield either. Uh, teammates really need to be aware of when their teammate gets hit by an upbee out of the shield because they're always punishable. Up throw not gonna kill Burst just yet, but... This up throw might... Oh no, but why not going for it because it's stale? Makes sense. Yeah. And that fair horrible DI from Train. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, that forward is gonna take him out. And now we've got a 2v1. Ryan is gonna get the grab, and that's game one for Green Team. Check in at the front desk. Thank you. Now Ryan, PCB, and Budget take game one. One Train Burst.
Yeah, uh, very solid. Yeah, considering that uh, I think Riddle's and Grape DQ'd, uh, did, yeah. probably the favorites to win this. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I just mean budget. Going off right now. This is Mystify. They do have to choose people for longer. Mm -hmm. So the, the strong players have <laughs> more time to adapt uh, to the, the craziness in front of them. But Ryan DCB and Budget showing that they have what it takes. They have like very good synergy, uh, and they've just been making moves. Big moves, even. Well, not even New York, but they're making big moves. We lost to the teams that Ryan and Budget beat. Let's go! <laughs> Heading into game two on Hollow Bastion here. Smashville Part 2. Yep. Uh, here's where I would make a comment about how the properties of the stage will benefit someone, but I don't know the properties of the stage. Yeah, neither do I! <laughs> I, I genuinely have not cared, I just thought it was also Smashville, so it's like, okay, whatever. A little bit around Smashville. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, unfortunately, Bowser's large frame gonna get caught by that Patui run, just trying to throw over his head. Interrupting the Bowser Bomb with the fair, that was actually really nice from Train. Uh, good awareness and doubles there. Ryan's gonna go for that lagless upbeat, really weird that uh, they did not give it a lot of lag when he lands with it, but... Yeah, and there's some weird thing Ryan knows that I don't, where you can land with a specific way so it has literally no lag. Oh yeah, I think it's like you land on like a certain angle or something, I don't know, it's weird. Either way. Uh, what we should talk about is how Ryan DCB found a back here killing his own teammate and burst in yeah. the process. Trading stocks has a little bit of percent deficit, but uh, both the characters in Green Team are very heavy. So, everyone in this match actually is like at least decently heavy, so they're gonna be living for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It's really gonna come down to who can close out stocks more efficiently, and not necessarily percent. Yeah, a lot of these characters in this game, Yoshi I think, and Yoshi's still yep. fairly heavy. Mm -hmm. But uh, Budget gonna get a stock off of train there, so Ryan DCB, the certified stock tank, not recovering off of that egg pull though, didn't match yeah. out fast enough. Budget notorious for not really matching much. Uh, Ontario's notorious for not matching much. Yeah, that's true. Well, not all of them, but like definitely Budget. <laughs> I feel like I've seen a lot. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> Alright, Ryan Grover is classic off-screen Patui, the Tamim killer. His words. <laughs> gonna get a nice jab on the platform. Gentlemen, knocking Burst off stage, but not really gonna get any ledge trap. Budget kind of just fighting Train in the corner instead of helping out. And you see the adaptation from Burst and Train really paying more attention to these Patuis now in Game 2. Yeah, I mean, every time you fight Plant for the first time, you're like, what is even going on? But once you start to figure it out, he's a lot more manageable. But 86% after hit. That's crazy. It's either Train's having a, a sus DI day, or that was just a crazy strong move. I'm not really sure, because it was really charged. Maybe a bit of both, but... Yeah. I didn't see those sparks, so... Ooh, perfect spacing on the Patui there to catch Budget's upbeat, but not actually hit Budget. Yeah, Budget is at 112% on last stock though, so he's gonna have to play a little more careful. Yeah. He does have Ryan tanking for him though, so this is actually still an even game, if not green team favor, yeah, honestly. Yeah, finds a down air uh, onto the person. He's gonna take a stock. Ooh, between rerouting multiple times, they're getting a lot of percent onto the blue team. Yeah, both of the blue team gonna be on last stock, but yeah. Train building up that percent on Ryan DCB there. Ryan using the invincibility on his head to forward smash through that bomb. But that is going to be Budget's stock. It's now a one stock for everyone. Uh, one low percent teammate, one high percent teammate. How can I make this work? We're going to catch the back air onto a train getting off stage, yeah. but... Now, I do think that uh, Ryan and Budget do have a little bit of a man, just since they have a bit more kill power than the other two. This is true. It's a lot harder to burst. Rock kills, but burst with that crazy string. Actually going to get up tilt in the up air. Now it's a 2v1 with Bowser, one of the most combo level characters by himself. And with two opponents, it's not easy. Yeah, but, uh, you know, 96%, uh, that's looking kind of kill percent. Yeah, that's a back air. That's just a back air. That's a back air. That's a side view of Train DI, maybe? Yeah, yeah, with Train DI. Uh, that was gonna be the charge shot and the fair, making sure no matter which direction you went, he was dying there. The game two for Blue Team. The first set that wasn't a blowout that we get to commentate today. But still a strong turn from Green Team, they're not out of yeah. this. Like it was and definitely seen very close as, game. Yeah, very close game. They're still it was definitely seen as kind of like cheese when they got here, but like they're holding their own even with the match of knowledge. Yeah. On the uh, that was side. also on blue team counterpick, so but now we're gonna get green team counterpick. It's true, it's true. Chase so the deck. Stage can make a big difference here. And we're just going to Smashville, but again. Um <laughs> This I time actually Smashville. Smashville. Yeah. <laughs> 
and no change up from either team. Yeah, uh, Burst and Chain. Oh no, Burst not the one trick. Burst yeah, Burst, yeah, Burst got inkling. that Inkling available if he'd like. I think he prefers Yoshi at this point by a lot, yeah. but um, he does have some secondaries going on, and then Budget honestly has Snake a myriad. Yeah, he's got Snake, he's got Ryu, he's got Ken. Uh, he could also throw in a little bit of Lucario if he's feeling spicy. Or Jigglypuff. Oh, the funny thing to note in this set, uh, both Bowser and Yoshi can down B from on stage to ledge, and they both break yeah. shield. Just saw that from uh, Yoshi's uh, first. A break shield, though. It's pretty much. It's, it's pretty close. It's close, but... Yeah. You know, I don't know why people don't shield Bowser down B more. It's minus 67 on shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta parry it like a chad. Ooh, Randy Speed trying to get the down fall, but I think a back air would have spiced a little bit better there. Yeah. Uh, just for speed, positioning, and safety. First, you're gonna find fair into up air, but even with Yoshi's air speed, not gonna really get a second one. Ooh, unfortunately, between his yeah. partner, uh, gonna give Train a ledge trap on my DCB, trying to drift off stage with bombs and jump back with a back air, something we don't see often yeah, from Samus. Ryan gonna turn that around to get a back air on the train to take this stock. Absolutely, now blue team somewhat up here, definitely a percent lead going on, despite even stocks. <laughs> We're gonna up smash two people. Second one uh, catching Ryan DCB and securing a lead for Blue Team going on from Burst. Yeah. Ryan gonna get a 2 on Burst off stage, but the double jump armor did save him there. Yeah, he actually did air dodge after that, so he was dead, but Ryan had to up you to make it back. Maybe if he had noticed in the moment, he could have stalled, but it's not easy to catch on to that. Oh, well, solid combos coming up from Train here. Gonna start combo Ryan and then immediately switch to budget with the fair. Yeah, Budget gonna lose his second stock of this game. Burst on three, but as I say that, he gets killed. That Bowser fourth match. Budget going really far out. Yep. He's able to make it back though, and Ryan got a full charge side B. Didn't see if it really hit anyone, but Ryan gonna get a nice up air string onto Burst. Woo! And Bowser landing. Bowser. Budget landing the near back air. One of the earliest kills for Bowser can actually do. It kills at like 70. Um, and it's gonna land and kill, so they have a lead at this point. Actually, it's, it's still percent deficit, but they even up the stocks at the very least. Ryan gonna get that down B off stage, not gonna find the kill just yet. Yeah, Plant able to go quite deep because of his recovery. Remember, one thing we might see is Plant's recovery is vulnerable from the top, so both of these characters having a down air and forward air respectively, that can spike it. Yeah. I think that's uh, one thing Ryan does basically all the time is he does go for those offstage uh, down bees, which uh, that move kills very early as we saw in that last game. Yeah, it kills early and also has armor, so like it's very safe to go for. You can also do a trick where if you do it on the ledge, you can actually slip off of the ledge as you're charging. Yeah. That gives you a better angle. And uh, green team now going to get a stock lead. Yeah, Ryan taking a charge shot at 180 and still surviving, but they're going to catch that up there from Yoshi, and now this is once again one high percent, one low percent, which team will die first. Yeah. At this point, I think both teams should probably go focus the uh, high percent targets to try and make it 2v1s, but mm -hmm. yeah, they approach it. Oh, and that's going to be the 2v1 onto the Bowser getting him killed, and now we're in the 2 a situation with Ryan DCB by himself. Now, Train is definitely killable at this moment, so if Ryan gets that, he still has a shot. Yeah, Train very killable, but... Uh, yeah, very even, smart of him to stick in the yeah, back line. Even after Train, Ryan still has to deal with first, so... Yeah, that's, that's not an easy feat. Ooh, a nice uh, down beat from Ryan DCB. I didn't even notice he was doing it, but yeah. he also uh, managed to tech that. Very solid from Train. Yeah, very good tech. And uh, Train, you're gonna be at that up throw percent from Plant now. He panic air dodging after seeing the platoon come off from off screen, but uh, still gonna survive. The down beat, you're not just off stage. That's gonna kill Train. We're down to one v one. One v one. Oh, mash out. He almost did that. Yeah, I thought for a second he was actually gonna survive. Yeah. That was incredible showing from Randy in the 2v1, almost bringing it back, but Burst showing he has that number 3 in Ontario, who's really, really good at this game, especially when you put him in a single scenario. Yoshi's Egg is kind of a move that's like freezing you almost, like the Ice Climber's Down B Freeze, or just the Item Freeze, yeah. where if you time it right, you can kind of true combo out of it. So Burst, knowing that timing, obviously, knowing his character very well, is just going to close out that game. And we're going to go into game four. 2-1 for blue team here, but still, 
every single game has been close. It is a timing thing, but also you can not mash out to change up the timing, or you can mash faster. Yeah, this is true. You so can adjust it. it. So possibly getting some sort of read going on at the end there. And we're gonna go back to Smashville. Makes sense considering how well they did in that last game, how close it was. Yep. Budget making great use of the fire breath at ledge to keep train at bay, but I'm gonna get caught by Yoshi. The issue with trying to do like two 1v1s against this team is the second that you try to corner train versus right behind you. Yeah. Ooh, getting the dare from the top of the screen yeah. is actually not coming back. That was a crazy yeah. reversal. Yeah. And uh, Burst already at 100% too, well Ryan only at 52, 60 now, but... Yeah, this game's looking great for Green Team so far. <laughs> so we gonna find the first stock onto Burst. Less than a minute into this game, and Green Team already has a two-stock lead. Yeah, going really incredible. Also using the hitbox of the side B to knock Train away as he was hitting Burst with it. Interesting down B from Ryan there, but... And up smash from Budget on the other side. <laughs> you do a little bit of throwing, but it's okay. They're still up. Yeah. Incredible timing for Burst there to hit the neck and not the actual head that has armor. Yeah, but isn't able to find the kill just yet. Ryan DSP makes it back to stage. Yeah, that was a sour spot. Budget rolling into fourth match, somehow not getting hit yeah. even with the giant frame of Bowser. And getting a little bit comboed by the projectiles here. The unfortunate part of playing a heavy in doubles is you have just a, a large frame that you're going to get hit by things often, even if you're not intending to. <laughs> First down B was able to find the stock onto Ryan, but blue team already at decently high percents on for second stocks. Yeah, but definitely still a green team lead, which is something we haven't seen in the last few games. <laughs> and Ryan got the armor on that down B there, but he's gonna get grabbed into paired by train. Ooh, burst retaliating on his recovery, gonna knock budget away from the edge guard. Ryan gonna find F smash onto train. Train is now onto his last stock of the game four. A little bit of an overextension on the edge guard there from uh, budget. Yeah, after we're gonna find the kill on the burst. Now both blue team on the last stocks. Green team, again yeah, back to a two percent lead. This could be their game. Absolutely, we're gonna see the egg roll coming up from Yoshi. Shout out some gourmet Malaysia where they serve egg rolls. Uh, <laughs> uh, budget also gonna be on his last stock now, and uh, I've seen train burst before, and I've seen. Crazy comeback from them in doubles. Yeah, they're incredible players in their own right, both individually and as a team. I'm gonna be keeping budget kind of in the corner there. Burst just using his character's speed advantage to keep Bowser away. Yeah, Ryan gonna die cross stage to a third shot. I'm not sure if he de it uh, well, but. Yeah, probably not considering Ryan's been living those at like 180. Um, very nice interruption from Ryan though. He actually clanked Burst up smash so the Bowser yeah. wouldn't get punished in the egg. Yeah, up smash, hitting Burst somehow, and the down B gonna find Ooh, Burst. That, night. And we've got a green team 2 do one at this point. Let's hope they don't drop this. Yeah, and uh, as we were talking about in that last set with RJ, uh, Samus, not the greatest character in these 2v1 scenarios. Yeah, certainly needs to condition one person to get punished by the other. Yeah, and I really like that this uh, ledge trap setup they have, uh, even though Train just got through it. But I like Brian kind of standing in the back, threatening Patui and down B while Budget yeah, stands on ledge. One comment I will make is Samus actually wins both of these matchups in singles. So if he does manage to get either of them dead, he has a very solid chance of bringing this back. Budget going for really risky edge guards. I don't know if I would be going for those when Samus can just air dodge and then dare you. But you're going to catch the side B. Not, not quite playing because of the platform. going to give some good positioning for the green team here. Yep, we're just back in the ledge trap. Very uh, clear at rolls. Room. Ryan sitting on the roll position, budget at ledge. <laughs> the budget going for the taunt. The classic. Ah. And Train just gonna yeah. fumble the recovery. I think the Zero denied him. <laughs> Which unfortunately just happens in this game. I've seen it happen to Young Link. I've seen it happen to uh, ZSS as well. Just like Zero sometimes is just like, I don't like ledges today, and then it just doesn't work. Yeah, now we have a game five. Now we're getting a set. nice game five. This is a really hype set so far, honestly. I'm gonna join Bless in tying up my hair. You guys haven't seen us the entire time, but we're turning from hair down to hair up. Uh, 
I had no character changes. Yeah, I didn't shoot the stage, did you? Nope. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Was not looking. Uh, I'm gonna guess Smattlefield. Oh, Bastion. Oh, Isn't MBSR on? Uh, yes, but I'm pretty sure this is agreed upon, especially because it's basically yeah, just Smashville again. It was also a close game when we were when here last time. Yeah, I don't think any stage picks have really influenced the set very much, because yeah. both teams have done really well on every stage. Budget just consistently letting these side bees, getting a lot of grabs onto his opponents, making them shield a little bit much. Yeah, and uh, fairly even percents on both sides in this starting portion of the game. Yeah. Slightly sus high recovery coming out from Budget there, maybe a bit of his snake showing. For the snake, maybe it was looking for another cheeky down air bait, <laughs> like we saw in the last game. Yep, Budget kind of fishing for landing there at last to get that uh, narrative back air to kill Burst early, or playing at high percent, works on both. Um, but not going to get anything, we're just seeing a slight percent lead for Blue Team here. But another sus high recovery is going to get Budget forward smash, early stop loss, considering how heavy Bowser is. Gonna get F-Smash from Budget, just hovering around Train right there, stopping Train from being able to do that edge guard onto Ryan. Yeah, you can really tell that he spells blood, he's out hunting for these kills because he knows that he's the powerhouse of the team. Ryan's more so the stage control component. Mm -hmm. But very good, uh, I understand dash back smash. Up smash gonna kill at 90 on the burst. The move is ridiculously strong. Yeah, but, uh, Budget already up to 100% on his second stock. Yeah, poking about half of Train's shield, Ryan's gonna go in knowing that he can't shield anything he's doing at this point. Not gonna find a kill on the train off that edge guard. Ooh, so but caught. budget. Unfortunate. Ryan still up three stocks. Yeah, but so is train. Yeah. Blue team's up an entire stock here. It's gonna be a little bit tough to but climb the hill, but he does get the save right here. Uh, up the unthinkable. Yeah. Or even for West Echo, that was so fast. How do you react to yeah. that? <laughs> nice landing up here from Burst. Gonna take Ryan's first stock, and now we are once again up a stock on the blue team side. Budget Budget shield. Yeah, Budget Shield is so low right now. <laughs> yeah, Green Team kind of just stuck in the corner here, trying to find their way out. Yeah, one issue that uh, their team does possess is that they don't really have a frontliner, they just kind of vibe. Because Yoshi is the only one in this game that really likes to run in. Especially the way the budget plays the game. Yeah, and uh, F smash on Ryan DCB is the landing. Yes, and now we're actually down to yeah. just Ryan by himself. Four mm -hmm. stocks to one. This is a giant one to find. kind of just ran away with this game. Yeah, it's really unfortunate after the like, incredibly close set we've seen. But uh, I think they decided they're the top players in this situation. I've seen Ryan win these. I've seen Ryan wins everything. I haven't seen him in that one. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately that was uh, the train dare. Yeah. And definitely dying like he got hit by a train. Just gonna go down at I think it was like 50% off stage, yeah. and we're gonna get winners finals for London. I think yeah. was it both London teams? Yes, for yeah. London players. All London. Finals. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going down to losers for our next.